At this point, I'm just being picky, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another battle of the HTVs, but this time it's gonna be glitter HTVs. So I'm gonna be comparing four different glitter HTV brands. So we have Caesar, Cricut, the Paper Studio, which is a brand at Hobby Lobby, and Heat Transfer Source. So this time around, I'm only doing four glitters. There's a bunch of glitter HTVs out there, but these were the four that I decided to do. I'm familiar with Cricut and Caesar, and I was curious to see how other brands worked. And originally, I wanted to do this video like glitter HTVs that can be found at stores because these two you could find at Michaels. And then the Paper Studio, obviously, you could find at Hobby Lobby. But I could not find another HTV brand. Like, I just... I guess I didn't look correctly, but I was like, whatever. And then I came across this one. And what's interesting about this one, this one from Heat Transfer Source, supposedly this one can be layered on top of each other. Like usually Glitter HTV, like it's just a top layer. Like you can't layer anything over it or anything like that. But this one, apparently, according to their Instagram, you can, which is what intrigued me. I was like, dude, like if this can be layered on top of each other, like how sick would that be? You know, glitter on top of glitter, like that would be so sick. For this video, I didn't test that theory to see if it like actually layers maybe for a different video but that's pretty much one of the reasons why i got this one because i wanted to try that out so obviously i couldn't do finals that you can find in store because these three you can find in store but not this one but either way this is a battle of the glitter htvs so all these four are going to go on to one shirt this one right here let's show it to you fast so i'm going to show you how they weed how they cut how they transfer if they peel because i'm doing a wash test so before we get into how each of these compare let's talk about pricing so for heat transfer source for a 12 by 10 inch sheet it's three dollars and 25 cents then we have Caesar for $3.75 for a 12 by 12 inch sheet. And then for the Paper Studio, it's $16.99 for a 12 by 24 inch sheet. But usually they have it on sale and I got it for 50% off and that made it $8.49. And to break it down for a 12 by 12 sheet, it would be $4.12. And then for the Cricut, it's originally $11.99 for a 12 by 19 inch sheet. But I got this one 50% off as well, so I paid $5.99. And honestly, I couldn't do the math for this on how to narrow it down for a 12 by 12 inch sheet. So my nephew did the calculations. I'm not exactly sure how accurate it is, but he came up with $3.78 for approximately a 12 by 12 inch sheet. So I don't know how accurate this is, but we're just gonna go with that and trust that he's correct. So I'm not gonna say which one is the least expensive or the most expensive since I'm not exactly sure on the Cricut pricing. But since they're all kind of like in the same price range, it's really not that bad because we have $3.25, $3.75, $4.12, and $3.78. So it's definitely not that bad. They're all kind of like in the same price range. So definitely not much of a difference when it comes to that. So now that we've got the pricing out of the way, let's start with the comparison on these four HTVs. So let's go. Here are the four glitters that I'll be using. We have the Heat Transfer Source, the Caesar, the Paper Studio, and Cricut. So out of all of these, I know for a fact that the Caesar and the Cricut are like that textured glitter, the one that you could actually feel. I'm not exactly sure about these two. They do look like they are, but then again, sometimes glitter can fool you and it's like has a smooth finish instead of a texture. Hopefully they're textured, but we shall see. Now let's look at the adhesive side and see if there's any differences. Here we have the adhesive side of all four. So right off the bat, the heat transfer source and the paper studio have like a smooth finish while the Caesar and the Cricut kind of have like a design going on. So they have like vertical lines going all across. So that's one of the differences. And also like the color of the adhesive on some is different. So for example, the red, it's kind of dull in the back, but you see like the red glitter in the front. And for the Caesar as well, dull in the back, but super bright and glittery in the front. But the Paper Studio on the other hand, like this one still has the glitter going on. So it's not much of a difference to the back. It's practically the same color. It's slightly dull, but not as dull. And then the purple as well. It's like dull in the back, but glittery in the front. And as for thickness, they all seem to have the same thickness. There's not one that like stands out more with being thicker than the rest. Out of all of them, I will say maybe the Paper Studio is slightly thinner than the rest, but it's nothing that's like super noticeable. Let me see. No, they all seem to be the same. But yeah, I do think this one is the thinnest out of all of them. So we'll see if that makes a difference with the cutting and the weeding. So now let's just get into the design. So here is the design that I'm going to use. Each color represents a different glitter. And then I'm going to use black HTV for the back so each one can stand out. And for this, I'm just going to use black Easy Weed. And since all of these glitters will be layered onto black HTV, I don't think that should make much of a difference with the way they perform, but we'll see. So now let's just get into the cutting. 
Since these are pretty little, I'm just gonna save time and cut them all together. And for these, I'm gonna use the glitter iron-on cut setting. So here they are after they've been cut. Out of all of them, this one, the Paper Studio, definitely has the design stand out more because it's like the shiniest. So the design is definitely noticeable the most in this one. And then this one as well, not as much, but you could definitely see it just by staring at it. Now the Caesar and the Cricut, those are like more difficult. You kind of have to hit the light in order for you to see it. I guess because of the vertical design that it has. And then for the Paper Studio, I don't know if you could tell, but some of the design is kind of like lifting in some of the edges. It's like the only one out of all of them that has like a lot of the edges just like lifting. It kind of looks like it had a hard time cutting. And then the Caesar also kind of has some lift in some of the edges. Not as much as this one, but definitely in some areas. And then these two are just pretty much smooth. This one kind of has one right there, but it's not that noticeable. Now on the back side, the design is definitely the most noticeable on this one. And I'm thinking maybe because it's the darkest, it stands out more. So this one, it kind of blends in. Like the blue makes it blend in so you can't really see it. And then this one is kind of hard as well. And this one, you can see it. Doesn't make much of a difference, but just thought I'd point that out. I also wanted to mention that the film on this one, on the Paper Studio, is less sticky than these three. Look, let me just show you. So, we're just gonna put it. Oh my god, a little piece just came off. I don't even know where it went. Oh well. Now to pull it off, look how fast this one, see? You see how it's lifting? See how it's lifting? So look, like nothing. Pull it off like nothing. Now this one, let's try this one. This one's a Cricut. You see how it has a rougher time? So this film is definitely, I guess, more sensitive than these. It's not as sticky, which isn't a good thing, you know, because then it's going to give you like uneven cuts if it ends up moving when it's cutting. So just wanted to mention that. Boom, I saved it. Now let's get to weeding. First off, we're going to start with the heat transfer source. So the heat transfer source was definitely easy to weed. Everything came off smoothly, so no complaints there. Now let's do the Caesar. So this one is actually harder to see the design than this one. So you kind of have to like make sure your HTV hits the light in order to see it. Damn, oh, I did the wrong one. That's what happens when you can't see properly. You end up weeding what you're not supposed to. So the Caesar was fairly easy to weed. The only thing, it was hard to see the design. So you saw me pull off what I wasn't supposed to. So you have to be careful with that. But when it came to the HTV, pulling was pretty easy. This one was definitely smoother than this one, but yeah, wasn't that bad. Now onto the Paper Studio. Do you see how it's lifting? So for this one, you can tell that you can't pull as hard as the others because the design will lift. So you have to take your time with this one. So, so far out of all of them, this one is definitely the hardest to weed. You can't pull as hard as you did with these two because then the HTV will just lift. So with this one, you kind of have to be slower because you don't want to mess up your design. So this one is definitely the hardest. Now on to Cricut. And this one is tough to see as well, the cut lines. So there's a piece here that doesn't even want to stick down. So the Cricut was also quite hard to weed, kind of like this one. But this one I feel like had more lifting when it came to the smaller pieces. 
like that eye and the bottom lip right there were just lifting and I had to like push it down with the weeder in order for it to like stay down I had to kind of like hold it and just pull it but yeah definitely harder than the rest now if I had to rank them from easiest to hardest when it comes to weeding first place being the easiest will definitely have to be heat transfer source I was able to pull on it and the design wouldn't lift or anything everything was smooth so this one is definitely the easiest and second easiest it definitely has to be the Caesar I was able to pull on it as well it did kind of lift a little bit like by accident because it was harder to see so that's not a good thing the fact that it was harder to see kind of gave it a thumbs down but was still fairly easy to weed and then for third place it would have to be the paper studio it was harder to pull I had to be careful and bring down the cuts or else they would lift and then some of the cuts are like already lifting like this little edge right here so this one was definitely not as easy and then of course last place was this one just because of those small little cuts that I actually had to hold down so this one was definitely the hardest and can you tell how much glitter it has in comparison to the rest so this one is just full of glitter and these barely have any so these two are kind of like the same there's like specks of glitter and this one barely I don't even think that's any glitter it's just like a texture now time to get to pressing so for this I'm using a youth cotton t-shirt so my original plan was to use the big heat press but since this shirt is so small I don't want like the seams to get in the way of the press not being completely flat and also all the HTVs have different heat settings so I knew it was going to get complicated to try and figure out how to do all of them so instead I'm just going to stick to the easy press just because it's little and it'll give me better control of each now that we've prepped our shirt let's start with the black layer So this black HTV is Caesar Easy Weed, so I'm only going to press this one for a few seconds at 305 degrees. I only did it a few seconds since I'm going to layer each one. I don't want it to like burn and I'm going to peel it hot. You have to be careful because that one didn't really press. First up we have heat transfer source which is 300 degrees to 315 degrees. I'm going to do 315 just because it's the highest and this is for 15 seconds. So these black ones might get a little burned. I didn't even think about it till right now because I'm going to keep pressing them, but we'll see. So this one, I think I'm going to do this way so it doesn't burn it. And this is a cold peel, so I'm going to use my cooling block. And the instructions for this say to pull it off in one pull. Damn, it's hard. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like easy, easy, but no, but at least it's on there. Next up, we have Caesar, which is 325 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. And I'm adjusting the temperature for each of these. And I'm doing 15 seconds for this one. And this one's a hot peel. I knew it. I missed part. This one's definitely way faster to pull than this one. Next up, we have Paper Studio, and that one is 270 degrees to 330 degrees. I'm just going to do the max, which is 330 degrees. And this one is for 25 to 30 seconds, so I'm going to do 30 seconds. I just realized that this image has a little section missing right there. I guess when I was weeding it, so that's no bueno. So this one is a warm peel. And it wasn't as hard to pull as this one. Last up we have Cricut which is 330 degrees for 30 seconds. That's one of the things I hate about the press is seeing that I miss some spots. And this one is a cold peel. Whoa, this one is hard. And all my glitter is in the black. Yeah, so glitter got on this section of the black. 
I don't know why. Maybe because they got this poor black section got burned so much. But yeah, this glitter went through. So for both the paper studio and the Cricut, the instructions say to flip it over and press it. I'm gonna do that for all of them just cause I'm not gonna be able to tell which is which, but let's just do it. And I'm not gonna do it for that long. I don't even know if I need this, but whatever, let's put it. I never do this for any of my HTVs, so this is kind of weird. And there we have it. Here they are up close and personal. So they all did end up being that glitter that has the texture, which is good because I wasn't sure if these two were going to be like that, but they are. So out of all of them, I feel like the only one that gave me issues, as you could tell, is definitely the Cricut. Can you see the glitter right there? I don't know if it was because I went in for a second press since I missed this edge, but still, that like ruins it for me because it's not the look I was going for. Like the glitter is down here, but you can't see it up here in these black spots. And this poor black bar is the one that got like the most heat because it, it kept being pressed. But other than that, I feel like it survived, you know, nothing major happened to it. Just this section right here just completely threw me off. But I feel like they all adhere really well. None of them gave me really major issues. They all seem to have pressed really nicely. This one was a little bit tough to pull because I thought it was going to be fairly smooth because the instructions say to do it in one pull. And like obviously I couldn't, I had to like take it easy. So this one wasn't as easy. This one, it just pulled it easily. This one, fairly easy as well. And this one also gave me a bit of issue. But luckily everything seems to have pressed, which is a good thing. So now I'm just gonna wait 24 hours to give them a wash test. I wanna see if they survive the wash. So with HTV, you always have to wait 24 hours before washing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna turn it inside out, throw it into the wash with other clothes using the delicate setting, and then I'm just gonna let it air dry. So here it is after it's been washed. Luckily, none of them have any signs of lifting. Like they're all adhered to the HTV really, really well. Not sure if like the black layer kind of gave all of them something stronger to hold on to, you know, instead of like holding on to the cotton itself. But overall, they all pass the wash test. That's what we aim for when it comes to HTV. So definitely two thumbs up for the washing on all of these. So here is the shirt once again. I'm honestly super surprised with all of them. Like, if you were to show someone this t-shirt, they wouldn't think that this is for different HTV brands. Like, honestly, they're all pretty cohesive with, like, the way they look, which is surprising. I would think that some would be, like, maybe thicker than the others, have a different texture or something, but no, it's pretty much pretty cohesive. There's not one that stands out way more than the other, like, to look completely different. And also, I feel like colors in general with glitter, they're all gonna practically look the same. Like, I don't think there's that many ranges when it comes to color. Like, when it's gonna be red, it's gonna be red. There's not gonna be, like, completely different reds, you know? which is why I decided to do four different colors for this one. But honestly, it's surprising how similar they look. Obviously, as you saw, they cut different, they weave different, they press different, they wash the same because look, they all survived. But yeah, other than the way that they are when prepping the shirt, that's completely different than the actual finished product, I guess you could say. So definitely surprised when it came to that. But I do have my favorites and my least favorites, so I'm gonna rank them. So let's start with my ranking. So for fourth place, coming in last, it's gonna have to go to Cricut. So the purple one right here. As you saw in the video, the glitter just completely went through the black part, which is so weird. And you saw in the video how none of these three had glitter in like the film, like the leftover film. Only this one, like the glitter on this one was super noticeable. So the fact that it went through onto the black layer was so disappointing. Because that's not what you're aiming for, you know? So it kind of like ruins your whole project. So overall, I do not like the look of it. That glitter just ruined it. Even though it was just in the bottom. It's like a big section of the bottom, you know? So I definitely do not like that. And then another thing, you know how I mentioned that that adhesive of the Caesar and the Cricut had like some sort of like line design going on? Well, for the Cricut, that line design is kind of noticeable in this one. I didn't notice it at first till after like I washed the shirt and I kind of looked at it through the light is that you can kind of see the stripe texture like unless you're really really paying attention to it you can't really see it but if you're like staring at it and you know that there's stripes there you can see the stripes so I don't really like that at this point I'm just being picky but yeah there's some stripes there going on so overall the look of it is not my favorite this one was definitely the hardest to peel as you saw it was so hard to get into like the small areas and that's not what you want you want your design to come out exactly the way that you intended it to come out you know so that's not a good thing and another thing this one has a long press time it's 
it's 30 seconds that might not seem like a lot but in comparison to others 30 seconds is a lot for you especially for you to be using an easy press and having to hold it like if you were to use a heat press okay whatever you can like do your thing but if you're doing a heat press 30 seconds seems like an eternity so I do not like that 30 seconds and then you still have to wait for it to cool so it just takes a long time you know so the long press time is definitely a no for me now for third place, it's gonna have to go to the Paper Studio, which is this one right here, the blue one. Honestly, this one didn't cut as well. As you saw, some of the edges were like lifting and even when I was handling it, one of the little small pieces like came off and you saw that I had to like put it back carefully. So yeah, it's kind of annoying that even when you're handling it, you have to be careful that it's gonna fly off like your film. And speaking of the film, as you saw, this one was less sticky than the others, which is not a good thing because you want your vinyl to stick to the mat so it can cut well, you know? Cause you don't know if this one is gonna kind of like shift when it's cutting and mess up your design so that's not a good thing that it doesn't stick really really well onto your mat and my mat isn't dirty because all the other ones stuck well onto it it's just this film so not a good thing and I feel like that's one of the reasons why those little pieces popped off and also weeding was hard with this one you had to be careful when pulling your design because the smaller pieces were lifting and as you guys saw I mentioned it I ended up losing a piece right there I didn't notice till after but yeah this piece was pulled when I weeded it so luckily you can't tell but still it's not cool to have to worry that your little pieces are gonna go missing you know and then this one as well has a long press time 30 seconds you guys know how i feel about long press times not my thing so now for second and first place this was so hard to choose because they each have like their pros and their cons they're both equally as good so it was so hard to choose which one beats the other because they each have their own little like hits and misses so let's just talk about both which are the heat transfer source and the scissor so we have a tie between these two so first up, let's talk about the Caesar, which is the green one right here. As you know, Caesar is my ride or die HTV brand. I will forever be using them because I've never been disappointed with their products. So I'm a diehard Caesar fan. So obviously it cut nicely. It weeded, not bad. The only issue I had with it was that it was hard to see the cut lines. And I kind of think it has to do with the color. I'm probably just saying that because it's Caesar, but yeah, it was very hard to see the cut lines. And as you saw, I accidentally lifted like the middle part of her lip. Luckily I caught it or else I would have been mad because it would like completely change the whole image. That's definitely one of the downfalls. I've used other colors in the Caesar glitter before and I don't think I've had as much of a hard time as I did with this one. I'm thinking it's the color but either way it weeded nicely, it cut nicely, it pressed nicely, obviously it washed nicely. So no complaints there. And another thing that I think is cool about Caesar is that you can find it pretty much anywhere. I know it's in stores and then a lot of the brands that sell HTV sell Caesar because it's like the number one brand. So it's super accessible, which is a good thing. And I also wanted to mention, this one was the one that peeled the easiest out of all of them. It was just like, that and one I wasn't struggling to peel it off or anything so this was the easiest when it comes to that it has a short press time and then also this one is a hot peel so you can just instantly peel it off no waiting for it to cool down or anything so it's definitely faster so I like when it's hot peels because you don't have to wait around or anything so overall I feel like Caesar is good no complaints there still a ride or die Caesar gal so definitely two thumbs up for the Caesar and now let's talk about the other winner which is the heat transfer source right here I'm honestly super surprised it was my first time trying it out and I'm definitely super impressed no issues here it cut nicely it was definitely the easiest to weed out of all of them I could just pull on it and none of the edges were like lift or anything I was pulling hard everything was coming off nothing else was like lifting that wasn't supposed to so that's definitely a good thing and also this one had a short press time 15 seconds even though it was a cold peel it's always better to have a short press time you know so that was cool and another thing it was harder to peel off than the Caesar like the instructions on this one said do it in one go I did it in one go but you obviously had to go slow I thought it was gonna be like this one where you just like you know completely take it off and it's fast but no this one you kind of had to be careful so this one was harder to peel than this one but overall the end result was good so overall I feel like it was hard for me to choose between these two because I feel like they were both really really good so it's gonna have to stay a tie so we're gonna go third place second no not even not even fourth place third place first place there's they have to be down there because they weren't even third or second level not fourth third first so that's what i'm gonna stick with so i really hope you guys enjoyed this glitter comparison i kind of want to do this with other types of htvs as well i did it with the regular htv already and now i did the glitter i did recently do an amazon one but that one is pretty much regular htv so now i want to dive into like the different types of htvs you know
the holographics, glow in the darks, maybe the fuzzies, the metallics, I don't know what other types there are. Leave me any suggestions that you may have down below and I'll look into it, you know? But this is always fun because it's always fun to figure out if like a brand is good or not. Now I feel like I've discovered a brand right here that's in the same level as Caesar, which is a good thing because it's always good to have options, you know? So that's why I like these comparisons because it tells you whether something is worth it or not. So for me, at least I discovered something that's new that I feel like I will use again. Especially this one, like I mentioned. So that one is advertised as being able to be layered. So I'm gonna have to come back and do some sort of video to test that theory because that's interesting because that's never been done before at least I don't think so that's definitely interesting I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll have all of these linked down below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and yeah I'll catch you in my next video bye